Hello, I'm Chuck, and here is my introduction to a new cladding script I made. As with my other extensions, you need to load materials into your model first. And then here I'm going to select the doors, windows, walls, corners, everywhere I want to have cladding. And open the menu and choose a preset style. And then add some materials. I can do a variegated stone pattern, but I'm just going to do a single stone. And then click Run. There's a pop-up that reminds me that stone takes a long time, so I need to st uh, save my model first, just in case. This actually took several minutes, so I'm going to blank it out. Okay, so I'm back and um, putting the stone on the columns. I'm just going to use the same preset style, but change it to a single level stone instead of a wainscot. So if I zoom in, <clears throat> there's quite a few um, uh, things to note here. It's um, making corners, it's cutting around doors, windows, and so on. Here's uh, how the menu works. There are images for almost every selection. The basic selection is facade. And then for moldings, there are quite a few options, including uh, using your own profile. And then under cladding, uh, there are also quite a few options. And under stone, there are are 23 stone and masonry patterns to use. So here are some more examples. So just like all my other extensions, they're part of Instant Architecture Package. This one is too. If you have Instant Architecture, just download it from the Files tab on your account and install it. Thanks for watching.